We're still trying to guess the most memorable things about school. OK, fingers on buzzers. School trip, school trip, school journey. School trip, school, school, school journey. journey. <laughs> we called it school journey. School, you called it school journey? Yes. Did anyone else say you came on school journey? No. No. We didn't go to school in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? I went to Devon and I had a very traumatic experience. We went water skiing and it was like a cove and they, you put the skis on and they sort of drag you in from the bank into the water. And as they did that, two things happened. Number one, I lost my voice completely because it was so cold. <laughs> and, and number two, one of the skis came off. Uh, and so I was like... <laughs> like this. They dragged me around this cove and I'm on one ski <laughs> crying my eyes out because I can't make any noise and everyone thinks I'm a hero because they, uh, uh, they think I'm doing like showboating. Like, look uh, at me, one leg uh, uh. but what that's done to me now is whenever I go into the sea anywhere else in the world even if it's warm I have to scream before I go in <laughs> in case I'm losing my voice so whenever I get a new boyfriend which I do occasionally um, <laughs> and I go on holiday I go I'm gonna have to scream when I get in the water and they think I'm doing a bit but I'm like, and I'm like eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared I'm gonna lose my voice so that's uh, is that how you scream uh, yeah, I, I can't do full scream I just want to make sure I can, I can if I need to yeah. I'm like eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> The worst compliment I ever had was I got complimented for having a nice eye. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> and then I went, oh, do you mean eyes? And he went, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, which I went, one? I mean, I, I literally, I did, I, Let's have a look. I'm not into that much self-abuse. I didn't go, which one do you like, man? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, I make the other one nice. <laughs> Do presents anymore? I'm done with it, and people get really upset by it. I just give money to charity, and that's what I do. But people right. get, oh. I know. Oh. See, oh. this is the thing. Oh. 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 Just I'll stop you there. <laughs> but if you want to give to charity, mm -hmm. why don't you do that in your own time? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. It's, it's, it's Roshi. You don't get to anything. Exactly. Best thing about being home alone when uh, you just get all nice and relaxed and your brain says, don't want to scare you, but do you think we're going to get killed here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you live with other people, right? Do you ever get the flat to yourself? Yeah, and I shit myself. <laughs> In the cat litter tray. <laughs> <And I'm... laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm on my own in the flat, this is amazing, it's so relaxing, and I think, oh, I wonder where a killer would hide. <laughs> It just gets exhausting checking the fridge again and again, and, and then you, you know what? I you think the killer mom's... might be in the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this. You, yeah, you're all laughing. <laughs> what about if you took all the trays out, right? And he's very small. <laughs> he could be in the fridge. I don't want to get killed because I'm, I'm not imaginative enough. <laughs> you've got to think like a killer to catch a killer. I've got a real bit of advice. Do you want it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got pizza and it's cold and old and you think, oh, I want to do the pizza, you can put it in the oven, it's going to make it drier, you can put it in the microwave, I mean, it's, that's just an animal's move. Uh, <laughs> but if you put it face down in a dry frying pan and it's like brand new, it's like Domino's have been back. <laughs> <laughs> I usually, when I've got an old bit of pizza, I usually put it in the bin. <laughs> What's the best present you've ever got, Roisin? Just the love of my family. I am. I never used. I was terrible. Me and my sister. Once we worked out that Santa wasn't real, I then who do I work for? <laughs> <laughs> She's um, really gone method on this. I mean. We couldn't. Um, we couldn't enjoy Christmas until we'd actually worked out the budget spent on all of the presents. <laughs> so Christmas was more me opening the presents, going like, yeah, this is nice, I'll see how much it costs when I compare it to hers later. <laughs> yes or no? Sometimes it's not me, it's, you know, the governor. <laughs> 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 that is... That so, almost so, whoa, makes whoa, whoa, me scared whoa, whoa. of it. <laughs> some explanation here. So, like, it's just certain shoes you can feel, like, men in Crocs, you, if you listen carefully, you can hear, like, all vaginas in a 20-mile radius zip up like tents. <laughs> <laughs> There's just certain clothes that you can feel that your vagina sort of goes, no. <laughs> Any other clothes do that? Any other clothes do that? Hats. All hats? Certain hats. What sort of hats? If the hat is too small for their head. Oh. Again. Just everything goes... <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that makes it go like a sort of pop-up head? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wellies. <was> wellies. <laughs> Did you go to a bonfire? No. I, I don't really like fireworks. I think they're like looking at views. 
it's boring after a while. Yeah, <laughs> views. Yeah. I mean, the whole eye is overrated as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You don't like views. Now, listen, you go out and then you've got to look at the photos and you go, this is great. And then three minutes in, you think, I'm bored now. I'm cold. <laughs> and then you're stuck there. <laughs> I've seen Star Wars. I knew you, but I didn't know anyone else. Good. But Mark Hamill was on Man Down, the sitcom I'd done recently. He did a guest spot. Who's Mark Hamill? He's, <laughs> he's in Star Wars. Skywalker! Yes. He's my brother! <laughs> In Man Down. So he's, yes. a, he's a guest spot in Man Down, and everyone was super excited on this sitcom because Mark Hamill was going to be there. And then I walk around the corner and I see Mark Hamill having a cigarette, and I was just sort of stood there, just watching. I thought, oh, this has caused quite a bit of a scene, this guy. And I'm just sort of looking at him, just like quite creepily. And Greg <laughs> Davies is the lead camera. What are you doing, mate? I went, just looking at Mark Hamill. Went, <laughs> that is Mark Hamill. <laughs> That's the props guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have you seen him? First Maybe film I ever watched, yeah. Yeah. So wait now, you hadn't watched like a, a Disney movie no, or anything. No, you just, no, no. They put my, you straight my dad, in. Yeah, straight there. That's yeah, the video tape, straight. That's good though to yeah. do it with your kids. To let them mm. go in hard <laughs> war <laughs> space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello. You know the way you've started eating solids. Here's Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's more exciting, going to see a new Star Wars film or waking up on Christmas morning? I used to get sent back to bed because I used to get up from four. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, love, I love Christmas morning. It's fun. Yeah. It's the best bit, isn't it? Yeah, you run down, your mum shouts, put your clothes on. Put <laughs> <laughs> your gym jams off, run downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Joe? It's charming when you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Those families that wait till after lunch to open presents. Oh, oh they're dead to me. And you, and you, and just, I feel like, how is anyone even talking? <laughs> <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, the other day, like, all right, should we have a cup of tea? What do you want about? <laughs> I don't want tea. I want whatever's the most expensive <laughs> fucking present. <laughs> well, you can't have that because that's your sister. I know. <laughs> oh, Sheen, I don't even want to ask because I'm very fond of you. <laughs> Could you eat a little bit less chocolate on the show? You know, because <laughs> you're on telly and you've had half a Toblerone. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you've genuinely, you've just eaten half a Toblerone. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you've got to chew it. <laughs> so like, eat as much as you want, but just please yeah. chew it. If you are going to defend your decision to eat half a Toblerone, have swallowed it before you start defending. <laughs> or you can't just put half a Toblerone for me. When she can't speak, her eyes get bigger. No, but she's doing, she's doing the Trump face when she speaks. The worst thing about going to the cinema is having to eat in the dark. Um, it's like it's a weird <laughs> thing to do anywhere, but like you're having the, all these mystery meats and stuff. Like you just got a mystery, mystery meats. <laughs> <laughs> what are you bringing to the cinema? <laughs> mystery meat time. <laughs> like you get hot dogs and stuff, and you think you are you, 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 are you the person that eats hot dogs at the cinema? I've <laughs> never seen anyone buy. I walk in arm deep in food to the cinema. <laughs> Yeah, so I think eating in the dark, I think there should be some sort of little bowl light. I do think about it quite a lot in there, like a light, you know, like your phone light, so it just goes over the food, so you've got you no... You use the light on your phone, can you? No, no, no. Phone, I think there should be trap doors for people under the seats if they use their phone, and just you press it and they go down. <laughs> That's it. No in their seats, no one gets hurt. 